Hi, this is Dizzy, and I'm going to talk about LISC, which is an acronym for Long Island Serial Killer. This is a serial killer who is at large right now. I will uh, start with his victimology. He goes after sex workers, high risk, social demographic is poor, substance abuse addiction to narcotics is common. Um, Incentives are financial needs uh, to feed the habit or themselves or their children. Also, living costs. Um, his source for finding his demographic tends to be websites such as Craigslist, Backpage. Uh, likes the victim type about five foot six brunette. Um, this. Serial killer prefers stalking on Craigslist as opposed to prowling the street. Offers large amounts of money, uh, usually over the regular type you would pay for these services uh, in order to make the victims more likely to let their guard down. Uh, Lisk offers large amounts on the conditions that the sex workers relax their defense mechanisms uh, such as security, drivers to drop them off and walk to the location uh, to where the customer is and the customer in this case would be Lisk. Um, basically easily increase the risk and vulnerability of the sex workers in order to put them in vulnerable positions in which the assault could take place. Uh, and that brings me to methodology. Um, the high financial offerings to persuade victims to breach their usual safety mechanisms. Some of these women know what they're doing, but money and addiction and poverty can make you do very peculiar things. Um, they breach their usual safety mechanisms to a and it helps him evade capture. He evades capture because no one's watching because of the incentive he offers um, and also makes the victims more vulnerable to the appending assault and murder. Transport used to pick up the victims um, either a pickup or a car. Uh, this is yet to be determined. What happens when the victim enters the car? Possible scenario is that uh, Lisk would drive for a while and then strangle the victim or the other is that their blitz attack as soon as they enter the vehicle they're attacked, assaulted and their guard is already down so they don't know what's going to happen to them upon entering whatever vehicle it is that Lisk is using. Um, Lisk would likely travel to a specific location with the victim I don't think the victims were murdered in the vehicle. Um, sadistic acts would need privacy in a place to do this would need to be remote, uh, more remote than a vehicle with windows and definitely not at the site of the burials. Um, the dumping ground is where the victim is left when Lisk is done with them. The murder would not pl take place here. Uh, murders don't often take place at dumping grounds that are quite as open as a beach. Um, once he's finished with them, they would be left at the murder ground and the risk would be too high if the murder took place there. Obviously, this would be like the bodies and the bags on the beach. Um, the murders didn't happen on the beach is what I'm saying. Uh, some theories for seekers uh, research abandoned buildings or even rented buildings such as sheds or garages. Uh, consider the notion that Lisk owns a boat um, and the murders are committed on the boat either at sea or docked. This is just a theory. Uh, contemplate the notion of investigating docking moors within around 50 mile to maybe 80 mile radius taking into consideration body parts recovered from Fire Island reinforces the theory that Lisk uses a boat. It's so cliche but it makes so much sense.
I have a lot of thoughts about Lisk. Um, once Lisk is finished with the victim disposal of the body, which would be used to get into Oakland Beach and then dispose of the body, the use of the boat has advantages because any noise would be masked by the elements, any screaming, um, any sounds of uh, cutting up the victim's bodies, um, and the disposal method would be extremely quiet, also especially if the boat is not constantly motorized. I do not believe these things are taking place on the canoe, but that doesn't mean that they're not, you know, at least partially being taken onto a boat. Anyway, Lisk is a violent sadist and is sexually confused. For example, the sex within the act of the crimes uh, comes during the violent act, most likely, uh, and probably afterwards. I think it's basically non-sexual up until the point that violence starts and it doesn't stop until well after the victims are dead. Um, this is typical of prolific serial killers. Uh, the sex therefore is within the criminal act and the murders. This would be when the arousal occurs although the hunt is a large part of the build up to the arousal state. Without the knowledge of autopsy reports, there will be no way of determining certain details. And uh, like I said, a lot of what I'm saying is purely theoretic. Just me talking from what I know about serial killers. Um, pending questions such as whether the killings were controlled or frenzied, it is very obvious to me that they are planned. If the killings uh, were controlled, this would suggest that Lisk is within complete control of the victims and what he's doing, where he's going, and everything indicates that Lisk is in control. Um, the fact that he's still at large indicates that Lisk is in control. Um, if they were frenzied attacks, that would make the investigation much shorter. Um, it would cause investigative error. It would cause, for example, leaving behind DNA. Um, and he would have already been caught. So whether or not they're frenzied or controlled, I mean, it seems very obvious to me. They're controlled. Mm -hmm. The phone calls received by one of the victim's sisters by Lisk um, is sadistic. It enhances the theory that the obvious Lisk personality is a violent sadist. I don't feel like that's really up for debate, although I have seen some people question what Lisk is actually like, but I guess we won't find out until someone catches him, right? Um, Lisk has a fear of being captured and he works alone. I have seen some theories that he has a partner in crime, and even if there are two serial killers in the Long Island area, I do not believe they're working together. If anything, they are taunting each other. The variables of working as a pair would increase the chances of becoming caught. For example, working with a pair increases chances of forensic mistake, and you can't always trust someone to keep their mouth shut. Partnership removes power. Lisk really likes power. Liz probably has some counter forensic knowledge, which reinforces my theory that he's in law enforcement. Um, also, the fact he hasn't been caught at all, and some of the scurrying around within the law enforcement in the area reinforces my idea that he's in law enforcement. Uh, we can't assume Liz has stopped killing just because there are no other bodies that have been found. Um, yet, uh, various reasons for this could be that the, uh, killer has just moved on to another area or has moved away from the original location and changed disposal method. Um, I doubt he would change it to a very large degree within his mind frame, but as far as people seeking about for body parts, I doubt they're going to be wrapped up on the beach anytime soon. 
Um, he surely has trophies. He seems like the type who would keep trophies. Um, we know he is likely tech-minded because he stalks on the internet for his victims. He likes Craigslist, as I've said, and many killers do. <clears throat> so be careful on Craigslist. I think that the case will go cold until uh, new bodies emerge. Um, and I think the case will go cold until there's a lot of new evidence. Uh, as serial murder doesn't seem like top police priority right now um, in the Long Island area, I think if he's caught at all without pure reckless behavior, out of character, frenzied behavior, such as, you know, how Ted Bundy went from being a controlled serial killer to killing people in sorority houses like a maniac, unless he goes off the rails, um... I think if he's caught, it will be by a sleuth and not by an officer. So, those are my thoughts on the Long Island serial killer. For now, an overview of my profile for him. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Leave thoughts, opinions, epiphanies in the comments. And everyone have um, a good rest of your week. And be careful on the internet.